All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Naxfell three six three. Thought I'd make a short video in reference to people who are undecisive between the ZT Warp and the new LG Marquee, which is coming out here shortly. This is not a review based on the LG Marquee. It's just kind of going through the differences between the two, in case you did not already purchase your Warp. Or if you did purchase the warp and you're wondering if it is worth getting rid of the warp and upgrading to the LG Marquee. So we're going to cover a few things here really quick. First of all, the biggest thing that I did notice just from watching the other videos on the LG Marquee is design-wise, it does look like it is a tad bit nicer. Uh, it is more appealing to the eye in reference to the back. Now the backing of the ZT Warp as described in several of my other videos is a recessed like plasticky, uh, just very cheap looking um, product. Now on the LG Marquee it is a more sleek design, more appealing to the eye, it just all around just looks very very nice. Now that comes with a price as well. Okay on the ZT Warp it, it fits well in your hand. It, um, it doesn't made didn't you know slip or it's kind of slip resistant i did like the rubberized material now it is you couldn't tell where you touched it or anything based on the fact of what the material was made out of now on the lg marquee in several of the reviews that i did watch they they talk about how um the backing of the phone it does look nice however the problem in that area is that it can probably easily be damaged if placed on surfaces and and move such as that or if you drop it etc or just from a lot of touching and picking up the phone put it in your pocket etc so in reference to the backing um, the ZT Warp does look a little bit cheaper, however, to me, the rubberized backing, in the end, it doesn't really make a difference on upon either material to me, because once you put a case on it, it covers it up and you can't even tell. So, just really quick one to point that out. Now, ZT Warp sports a 4.3 inch screen, and the LG Marquee has a 4 inch screen, so that's the difference of almost half an inch okay both uh, are 480 by 800 pixel resolution so there's no difference in there so the main issue is is if that almost half an inch does make a difference to you which you may think to yourself that 0.3 of an inch really isn't that big of a difference however when you put it up side by side I'm sure when I have both phones and I put them upside one another I'm sure you will see that it doesn't seem like it would be that significant to some it may be. So just thought I'd throw that out there too. Now if we take the back off we can see that the ZT Warp is a 1600 milliamp battery good for seven and a half hours talk time. LG Marquee only has a 1500 milliamp battery only good for five and a half hours of talk time. One thing I will say about the ZT Warp battery is that it is both phones obviously are smartphones and even though they say seven and a half hours, five and a half hours, I really think that it's a, that it will depend on how you use the phone. I was getting a lot better uh, usage out of my battery beforehand when I first got the phone as opposed to right now. Uh, there are little tips and tricks that you can use to increase your battery life. However, they both are smartphones, so do not expect anything major. All right, now weight differences in the actual dimensions of the phone vary ever so slightly. However, the ZT Warp comes in at 4.93 ounces, 140 grams, and the LG Marquee comes in at 3.95 ounces, 112 grams. So it's a difference of matter of an ounce. Both phones are extreme are going to be extremely thin. It'll be a lot nicer when I get them upside one another. However, as you can tell, if you already had the Warp, you could tell that. You, you already know that it is a very lightweight and thin phone. That's why I'm anxiously awaiting to see how much lighter and thinner the LG Marquee is. So as you can see here on my phone, I don't really have a lot of things stored on my internal memory. I have 2.37 gigabytes left. Stock comes with 3 gigabytes of internal memory on the ZT Warp, while there's only 2 gigabytes of internal memory uh, of storage on the LG Marquee. Now, I don't think that that's going to be a major issue. However, it would have been nice if both phones had the same amount available. Both ZT Warp and LG Marquee both 
are sporting a single core 1 gigahertz processor which to me is fast however some people argue saying that it's old technology that they should start making dual core processors in their phones um, who knows maybe boost will one day incorporate that in their lineup however at this particular time that is the newest of technology for them that they wish to use on their phones all right the LG Marquee has a Nova display which makes the colors more vibrant and vivid I have the settings set to brightness all the way up on the ZT warp to me the colors aren't washed away or anything however that is one of the biggest features on the phone and I'll be really excited to put them up side one against one another I currently have my phone set on two megapixels this is what the front facing camera on the LG Marquee will look like to me it's more than enough this is what this is what you're gonna be looking for your Skype your Tango that kind of stuff on the back both phones sport a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash I'm hoping that the LG Marquee allows you to record video at night using your LED unlike the ZT Warp because that was a big downfall on the phone for me and last but not least both phones can play high definition video 720p however only the LG Marquee allows you to actually record in 720p unlike the ZT Warp and uh, when I first got this phone that was the biggest thing people were throwing tantrums about that the phone could not record in high definition so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video in reference to both the phones like I said I'm going to be getting the LG Marquee hopefully by next week sometime the 23rd is on a Monday so I'm hoping that DJ will have it by the 24th or 25th and make sure you guys stay subscribed and check out my LG videos that hopefully I will have out soon. Thanks.